Hi, this is Kathy Sassiri, author of Robotics, Discover the Science and Technology of the Future. Today I'm trying a project where we're going to take a doodle track car, which is a line following car that uses the same kind of circuitry as line following robots, which are a very popular type of robot. And I'm going to see if we can hack it into a different kind of a robot called a photovore robot literally means light eating robot and it's usually used for solar powered robots but photovore robots are also light seeking robots and that's how we're using the term so I've taken the cover off of the doodle track car to see what's inside but I just wanted to show how it works on the bottom of the doodle track car we have batteries obviously and we have two light sensors and each light sensor is connected to motors that drive these two wheels. So when you turn it on and you put a light on it, put the light on the left side light sensor and the motor down there turns the wheel down there and the same thing on the other side. The net effect of this is that if only one wheel is turning the car turns in the opposite direction so if this wheel is turning the car is going to start turning that way. In a light following car or robot the two light sensors will keep the two motors running and keep the car moving in a straight line as long as they're over the white paper. If the black line turns to one side, the light sensor on that side will stop the motor on that side and the car will turn and follow the line. Okay, we've taken the cover off of the doodle track car and we're very gently removing the printed circuit board. We've popped off the cap from underneath so it'll come off here and then very gently wiggle it out trying not to break any of the wires and there we go so if we stand the circuit board up something like this somewhere in here. Now we have the two light sensors facing forward. The next step is to build a baffle or a wall between the two light sensors. What you're trying to do is keep the light from hitting both of the sensors at the same time. Now there's one more step to turn this light avoiding car into a light seeking robot and that's to switch the little motors. Right now, it's set up so that the sensor on the right powers the motor on the right. All you're going to do is switch the motor so that the sensor on the right powers the motor on the left. That will make this robot or vehicle or whatever you want to turn it into go in the opposite direction and go towards the light. So this little cover comes off right here like that with a flat screwdriver. I've already switched these two motors. You just pop out. In fact, I'll show you if I can do this gently. They just come right out. Be very careful not to disturb the wires. And you can just take them out and switch them and just pop them right back in. Nothing else gets connected. They just sit in there. Put the cover back on after you switch them. Making sure not to pinch the wires again. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Get the sensor set up here. Now when I shine a light on, let's say, the left sensor here, Now our 
eagle is going towards light instead of away from it. That's all that's involved in making a light avoiding or light seeking robot is which motor is powered. I think that's pretty cool.